<laughs> Good lord. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Take off my Smash JT glasses. Not really chasing any folk today. <laughs> so I got a fun little episode for you guys here. And uh, I think you guys will enjoy uh, what it is I have to talk about. Now, before we begin, pour myself a glass of wine here. And today's wine of the day is Modelo Massi. Uh, this is a staple for anyone who's into Italian wine, cheap wine, and uh, it hits the spot. So, what are we talking about today? Oh, not much. I think we'll start off as well by talking about some vinyl, some music. Now, some of you guys, some of you guys from the younger generation, maybe you're not familiar with this group, but I know most of you probably are. Um, Art Bell, Cujo. I know a lot of you guys probably know who these guys are. And that's Simon and Garfunkel. Now, believe it or not, I was pretty late to the party with this band. I only started listening to um, this record, which is probably their most popular album or one of their greatest hits. And man, what a fantastic folk band these guys are. You know, you've got on here, obviously, um, Mrs. Rob Robinson and Bridge Over Troubled Water, The Sound of Silence, classic song, The Boxer, who can forget that one? And uh, I Am a Rock, it's another great tune. They're all good. So Simon and Garfunkel, two of the quirkiest, weirdest looking guys around, but <laughs> fantastic album. If you look them up on YouTube, Try to watch some of their older archived footage from the 60s. Uh, if you look them up, you know, the last 15, 20 years, they're looking pretty rough, these guys. They're looking pretty rough. <laughs> so, again, fantastic record. Now, what are we talking about today? Oh, I got one more thing. One more thing I want to talk about. My mother came over, and uh, she dropped off a book. And uh, I'm a huge fan of David Cronenberg. Now, David Cronenberg, he's actually a Canadian director, and he's done a lot of fantastic films over the years, especially in the 80s and early 90s. Uh, he did uh, Sex, Lies, and Videotapes, which is a fantastic film. He also did The Fly with uh, Jeff Goldblum and uh, Gina... Gina Gershon? No, Gina... I'll let you guys put it in the comment. But, apparently he came out with a book as well. So, consumed a novel by David Cronenberg. So, I'm really interested in reading this uh, I want to see you know if his novel is as good as his movie so I'm really excited to have this book I didn't know David Cronenberg was also a writer as well and uh, also on the topic of movies I was talking to my buddy how are we doing for time here three minutes 30 seconds talking to my buddy there Baltimore retro gaming and he was going through a huge there's a huge pile of dvds he had in a box stored away somewhere i guess he's doing some purging and uh, i don't know how it came about but i brought up the movie uh Requ requiem for a dream now i was going to do a movies on the run episode of this today but i feel like i need to do a gaming video i know i haven't talked about gaming yet in this video but so I just wanted to briefly mention Re Requiem for a Dream. Uh, it's a fantastic movie. It's, it's one of the most depressing movies of all time. Uh, starring Jared Leto. Uh, it's a Darren Aronofsky film uh, who famously also did uh, The Wrestler, Black Swan, and a host of other great movies as well. A few duds as well. but <laughs> So yeah, Re Requiem for a Dream. If you uh, want to check out the trailer for that on YouTube, I'll be doing a movies on the run of that at some point, I know. Uh, so today's topic of conversation, finally, finally, we're talking about Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. It feels like there's been a renewed interest in these consoles, and not only these consoles, but just the games from this from the seventh generation as well. Like I know the other night, my buddy there, Alpha Nerd Gaming, Alpha Nerd Entertainment, excuse me. Uh, he's been streaming uh, the PlayStation 3 Classic Uncharted. He's doing a, he's doing a rash of online streams. Uh, Uncharted 1, 2, 3, and I think he's going to do the fourth one as well. And uh, if you haven't checked out his streams, they're highly entertaining. Um, you know, not only is he playing the game, 
but he does pause the game every couple of minutes and goes through all the comments in the chat, which I really appreciate because not everybody uh, that live streams actually does that. So we have a we have a ball, and uh, I don't always I'm not always into all the games that he plays, but I still have fun in his chat. So we have a lot of like a lot of fun there. But Uncharted again, it's one of those uh, games that uh, Xbox 360 owners. You know, we're always sort of salivating at the mouth when we see those games because that's obviously a Sony exclusive one that we never got on the 360. Obviously, we have our Gears of War. But, like I said, we're just seeing a renewed interest uh, in the seventh generation gaming. We're seeing a lot of, again, nothing new, but we're seeing a lot of remasters coming out on the current gen. And uh, I just, I, I, I'm just seeing it in the community, at least with my timeline and my feed and what I'm seeing. I'm seeing, again, a lot of people, maybe they're just bored of the current gen and they're trying to dip into that huge catalog of games for the seventh gen that, let's be honest, not all of us really have yet to have the opportunity to fully explore. Um, but I, I think right now, Again, I've talked about this before on the channel, but now is the time to pull the trigger on collecting for seventh generation because uh, once the ninth gen comes out, presuming it's backwards compatible with at least the seventh gen and the eighth, there's gonna be, again, mark my words, there's gonna be a spike in, uh, in second, second market sales of the seventh generation of gaming. And like I said, there's so many good titles to choose from. I'm just looking from, I'm looking at my 360 catalog right now. And a lot of the remasters that have come out, well, a lot of us, at least I know with myself, as much as I like the remasters, why am I gonna pay, you know, $39.99, $49.99 for a HD remaster of a game I could pick up probably used for five to $10 on the 360. So, like I said, I think a lot of us, it's not only COVID-19, you know, inducing boredom and people are starting to dip into their back catalog, but I just think there's just an interest with the seventh gen right now. I don't know what it is, but I even know my buddy again, Baltimore Retro Gaming, he picked up a uh, Japanese variant of an Xbox 360 Slim on, on eBay, a real nice looking console as well as translucent blue. Uh, and he's been playing a rash of 360 game. I think he said even himself he's got a renewed interest in the 360 and man the 360 has a great catalog of games and, I, and again I've said it before and I'll say it again the 360 blows the Xbox one out of the water and although I don't own a PS4 and a PS3 I'm familiar with the back catalog back catalog of both excuse me and uh, I think it's safe to say the PS3 gives the PS4 a run for its money and like I said, these games like the Uncharted series, you can get like, um, it's like a trilogy pack, dirt cheap on the PS4. Again, enhanced, basically PS3 games. And, uh, you know, you see the Crash Bandicoot re-release. I know that one wasn't really 7th gen, but you, you get the idea. So right now, I've got a really good collection of 360 games and I have no reason to part way with it. And uh, I'm, I bet you there's a lot of people that did part ways with their PS3s and their PS and their uh, Xbox 360s when they bought the 8th gen. And now they're sort of, you know, yearning for those older experiences that they once had. You know, I, I know there's a lot of people when Red Dead Redemption 2 came out, there was a renewed interest in the original Red Dead Redemption as an example. So, so yeah, it's interesting times. Um, I honestly, like I said, I honestly think if you're, you know, if you're on the fence about pulling the trigger on a PS3 or an Xbox 360, I would highly recommend doing that. Um, it's great for, for gamers on a budget as well. And let's face it, we're all on a budget right now, especially with the uh, the pandemic that's going on. Some of us are on reduced income. Uh, you know, some of us are on no income. So, uh, tough times indeed. And, uh, you know, if you can save a few dollars here, here and there, then why not? But like I said, if you wait any longer, uh, a couple of years from now, the 360 and the PS3 is gonna be, the games are gonna be harder to find, they already are, and the prices are gonna go through the roof. 
Um, you know, the PS2 and, and, the, and the original Xbox and the GameCube, it's very close, very close to being at that point of no return as far as the used gaming prices are concerned. I don't care what anybody says. You get channels out there like, oh, PS2 is f***ing dirt cheap to purchase right now and the original Xbox is f***ing dirt cheap. Okay, I don't know where the f*** you're living, but maybe the original Xbox in certain areas. But a lot of the titles, the good titles, they're not dirt cheap. They're $20, they're $30, they're $40. And uh, especially a lot of the resellers know what these games are worth. And they're marking them up 25, 50%. So, like I said, I just wanted to sort of get this video out there. I'm seeing a renewed interest in the Xbox 360 and the PS3. Not so much in the Nintendo Wii. But again, the 360 and the PS3. Have you guys seen a renewed interest in these consoles? Let me know in the comments below. So again, that's going to do it. One other thing I want to mention, actually. Uh, I've never really talked about this before, but uh, I recently discovered the original, excuse me, the Xbox One has a huge disadvantage over the PS4, and that's, that's live streaming. You cannot stream directly to YouTube with your Xbox One, only to Mixer. I found that out the other day. I was trying to stream. And on the PS4, apparently you can stream directly to YouTube. It's YouTube friendly. And Microsoft has a, I guess a vice grip on that. And you can only stream directly to Mixer. So it is what it is. It's unfortunate. That's gonna do it guys. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.